Hello everybody and welcome to Unit 4 of Intro to Archaeology and today we're going to be talking about how to use survey equipment. Uh, so the survey equipment we're going to talk about is called a theodolite. Now there are two types of theodolite that you're going to be concerned with. Uh, the first is the transit, which is entirely analog. It's referred to the as the transit or dumpy level. That's what this is here. I'm also going to show you how to use an electronic version that uses lasers called uh, a total station. So I'm going to show you how to set that up and how to shoot points uh, that allow you to uh, map your site in three dimensions. So the first thing that you're going to need is to choose your datum point. D-A-T-U-M point. Now the datum point is whatever point you shoot all your elevations at the site from. It's also called the zero zero point for reasons that we're going to get into later. Now you want a point that has a good degree of view of your entire surrounding area and is at a fairly high elevation so that you can see everything from your instrument. Now you're going to mark your datum point with a some sort of uh, marker, something permanent. So for example if you come over here you can see that I've marked the datum point with a with a nail and you can uh, mark this again with uh, like uh, surveyor's paint or you know some bright fluorescent paint something like that or something a little bit more permanent like a mag nail. Now you can see here I'm gonna back up just a second you can see here that I've set up uh, the tripod over this datum point and to make sure that the tripod is directly over the datum what I've done is I've set up this weight here called a plumb bob so you can see that it lands pretty much directly over the datum point. And then from here I have set up my transit. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that your transit is completely level. If you want to come on over here for a second. You'll see here on top that there is a bubble level right up here. So you can see the bubble level. Oh, get that. You can see this bubble level right up here. You want to make sure that that bubble level is directly in the middle here when you spin the transit 360 degrees. So however you spin it, make sure that this is in the middle. To do that, you're going to want to co co uh, continually adjust these knobs down at the bottom to make sure that everything is completely level. So let's give that a try right now. 